Well, and amidst a massive political war over the foreign hand scandal, Republic TV has spoken to top UK lawyer, the man who is probing the data theft scandal. His name is Julian Malins and he has responded to Republic TV's emails. In fact, he has also spoken to us and he's seeking details of the role of India in the global scandal. Let's take a look at this. Yes, Republic TV is the only channel to have had access to the top investigator in this massive global data theft scandal and this is the man Julian Malins who is probing the data theft scandal on the international level in fact after Republic spoke to him he is also seeking details on the Indian link to the global scandal and Republic sent him an email a detailed email to which he has responded and my colleague Vikram has all the answers to it since he spoke to Julian Malins. Vikram is with us on the phone line. Vikram, tell us what all Julian Malins revealed about this big global data theft scandal. Well, Suhita, with, the, with each passing day, the scandal is getting bigger and with the Indian language coming out, uh, Republic TV spoke to Julian Malins first and asked details of the Indian links and whether any data of Indian users has been stolen and Julian Malin spoke to us and said that the fact that all these allegations are out there, a probe has been launched but he could not dispel more information because the probe is right now undergoing and as we know, Alexander Nix has been suspended as the CEO. A, a thorough probe has been launched by Cambridge Analytica into you know, his misdoings right. and whatever meet. Yeah. Vikram, I request you to stay with us. Let's first play out that telephonic conversation you had with Julian Malins for our viewers and we'll just come back to you in a bit. So may I speak with Mr. Julian Malins? Uh, yes, that is me speaking. Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Vikram. I'm calling from Republic TV. I wanted to speak to you about uh, the investigation that you have started on uh, Mr. Alexander Nix, who has been suspended by Cambridge Analytica. Uh, no, I'm um, uh, an English uh, barrister engaged by a client. I can't um, uh, discuss the matter with anybody. Sir, apart from I, without asking client. for too many details, I just wanted to ask you one specific question that whether any of the no, data... No, no, no. By all means, uh, um, uh, my um, uh, Chambers website has an email, mailins at BT Internet, M-A-L-I-N-S, at btinternet.com. If you send me an email, of course, it'll be um, dealt with with the utmost courtesy. So, but I wanted to inquire... No, no, no. Uh, if you know Shakespeare, but me no buts. Thank All you right. very much for your All call. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you, sir. And Vikram, in this regard, Republic TV also sent out a detailed email to him with several questions that we posed. Uh, if you could throw more light on what all he revealed in that email. Uh, well, Suisha, uh, Julian Malins wrote back to us and he said that he, uh, amidst all the allegations that have been put out against Alexander Nix and Cambridge Analytics, a thorough probe has been launched by a firm. Also, he also said that since the allegations have a strong link to the Indian uh, Indian diaspora and then the Indian political circle, he wanted any help that would be required from Republic TV with respect to this probe and he said that if Republic TV could provide any evidence or any details about the matter, he would certainly take them into account. So we will be writing back to them with more details because Republic TV has put out how Alexander Nix came to India. He met with certain political leaders and there is certainly a strong nexus between Cambridge Analytica and Indian politicians as well. Right, Vikram, we'll continue to keep a very close eye on this case and this investigation that is underway. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.